Good morning everybody, this is Guillermo with another video of live trading with Guillermo. So as you can see my setup uh, was there right off the bat. So I, I had turned on my automation and we took the first trade for a winner. I would have gotten the one prior, but I got a, uh, I waited. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was uh, making that down move. So I missed I missed the, the trade prior. Otherwise we could have gone back to back winners, but that's okay. I kind of like to see where direction's going. Um, automation's on so I was thinking that it would take another short here uh, and it did for a little bit but then it reversed and then DRAM engaged we uh, you'll see it um, unfold uh, here shortly uh, my trading took up just a little over five minutes this morning so I'm not speeding it up at all uh, I just uh, I'm letting the, the video play out as is and then kind of doing a, a voiceover uh, of this video so much better morning uh, this morning got lots of good sleep so I'm back to my usual self and uh, uh, ready to trade uh, so here right here uh, DRAM is going to engage so we're up 495 and you'll see the nut that PL go negative for like I it was so fast I think it was like minus 30 bucks or something like that uh, then it got positive and then uh, the cool thing is that we rec not only did we recover where where we had lost, but we ended up with a nice uh, a nice little profit. And then uh, automation's still on, and uh, we're pretty much above the indicators, uh, so feel pretty confident that it's gonna take a a long trade here. Uh, but you never know. But uh, that said. Uh, Automation's on, so I haven't I haven't turned it off. I did pause uh, later on, and I'll show you uh, where where I did that, um, and and I'll give you the the logic uh, behind it. Uh, sometimes when once I get uh, to my goal, I will look for an opportunity, but only if it makes sense, right? If it's my setup, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just gonna sit tight. So so right here, uh, our runner didn't hit the profit target. So you'll see that little uh, magenta line. Uh, and then it immediately, immediately took a trade short, which was awesome. So we, we took that uh, for a nice winner right here. So right there, I, I clicked out uh, just so I wouldn't give up so much of the profit. Okay, so so right here where my my setup is here, right? You see it purple background below the indicators so basically what I was doing is I paused and I was waiting to say if it makes a move below the indicators I was going to turn it back on um, but it didn't it's it's actually above the indicators now so this is kind of iffy it's kind of like 50 50 it could go either direction uh, so I did not take that trade I just figured hey I'm just gonna sit tight unless it's right below the indicators then I would have gone I would have gone for it so I didn't it's uh, you know we're, we're pretty much above it and uh, I didn't want to take a chance because I don't have to right I'm at per positive 1325 uh, no need to, to, to take risk and as you can see it's moving up higher uh, above the indicators so I did not take the straight um, and and it was a good move as you'll see uh, as, as the market's really making a making a not move and and then we'll we'll take one more trade uh, in a little bit uh, to wrap up the morning so 1325 this is well within goal if you're running the auto ripper pro reloaded uh, three contracts a uh, thousand bucks that's a really good goal to have all right so I I'm above that 1325 uh, so right here as you can see now we're in the gray background above the indicators and and, and I took this trade uh, going long because I felt pretty good about the direction of uh, of the market at that time. Uh, it, like I said, it's one of my favorite setups. I look for it. I use that as a as a gauge to see if it makes sense, um, you know, to enter a trade. And I did, you know, I I. Uh, I, I turn on my automation uh, right right at this point right here when it started making that that up move. Uh, I didn't have to. Uh, Thirteen twenty five 
that's a very good goal no, no need to go above and beyond that uh, but I did you know I like to be a little extra for my videos but uh, I picked up a nice winner so um, just wanted to say thank you for, uh, again for watching thank you for all the feedback that I've received uh, I appreciate all of you uh, I still check the email uh, I don't respond uh, to everybody individually, but I do use it as a way to see what's going on and help people out uh, via Q&A videos or talk about it during my videos. So, so with that, uh, have a great morning. Uh, happy trading. See you in the next video. Take care now.